Welcome back. I'm Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos and this is vlog day. So happy to see every single one of you. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it because I know you guys, I don't want to keep you guys in suspense. Okay. I said I was going to do a giveaway for my candy cane tumbler. So I'm going to go ahead and announce that right now. Okay. But I do have more stuff I want to talk to you guys about as well. So make sure you stick around for that too. All right. But I did a na random name draw and it came back as Barbara Ludz. So congratulations, Barbara. You get to win my candy cane tumbler. So I'll make sure to message you and, and stuff like that. But make sure you email me at sandysorganizedchaos at gmail.com so I can get your info so I can get this shipped out to you. Okay, congratulations. Okay, so we got started on my plaid tumbler that we did last week. You know, it was a redemption, right? Like I, I had, but I went ahead and I, I finished that up. And this is what I ended up doing with it. it. Says Merry Christmas, but I did like these foil type Christmas trees around it, like that. That's what I did to this. So I'm gonna show you guys how I how I accomplished that in today's uh, vlog. So I'll kind of go over that with you guys today. So maybe this will be another giveaway. I don't know. Maybe I should do that more. And I told you guys I wanted to do this more often with you guys. And my mom is here. Um, she came down for Thanksgiving. Uh, she'll come out in a second and say hi to you guys, but she is here. So, you know, I I think she has a project she wants me to do with her. Maybe I'll do that with you guys as well. So those collaboration videos that I told you guys about, uh, we're going to be doing a um, Secret Santa collaboration. I told you guys about that last week. That's going to start this Saturday. I think, you know, there's a bunch of people that are going to start putting out their videos. I'm not going to be putting out my video until next week. So not this week, but next week is when my video will come out. But everybody's is going to start coming out probably this weekend for that. So I'm pretty excited and I can't wait to see what everybody made and who got what. And I know that you guys want me to make sure that I kind of keep you guys updated with Jeff since I put it, you know, I've been telling you guys about it and you guys wanted to keep you updated. So I will tell you guys this. Um, he has to go in for um, a bone marrow biopsy this week. And he also has to have a CT scan done. So that's what he has to have done this week. So he's not really looking forward to the bone marrow biopsy because I don't know if you guys know about those, but it's, you know, he has to get be put out and everything for that. But that that's what we have going on so far but we're like I said still again we're just trying to be positive about everything and just see how this turns out I, I'm just really happy that the doctors are just going over everything just to really clarify what is going on with him so with that being said I just kind of wanted to tell you guys that I am going to be turning off my patreon group I I'm actually just going to take a break from it for about a month and then I'm actually just going to have a join button here on YouTube instead of having a separate Patreon account and all that stuff. But I already knew that I kind of wanted to take just a little bit of time off and kind of give my Patreons a little bit of a time off as well because most of my Patreons have been with me since I started my Patreon group back in April. So, <laughs> But I discussed it with them and this is something that I actually really thought about before I started the Patreon group, you know, I, I debated whether to do just a YouTube thing or to have Patreon and, and I kind of wish I would have just did it all here on YouTube. It would have just been a little bit more simpler. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then when I do come back with it, uh, obviously it's not mandatory and it's not going to change. It hasn't changed anything that I produce here. Some of you guys probably didn't even know I had a Patreon, but I do. And I, I do put out, you know, just a little extra content over there. But when I do decide to turn back on that kind of join membership type thing, it's going to be here on YouTube and you'll be able to see a little join button. And it's going to actually be a lot cheaper than I was on Patreon. I'm lowering the price and, and all that. So, but I don't, I just wanted to let you guys know that in case you've seen it and wanted to join and was wondering why my Patreon isn't there anymore. That's because I'm going to be switching over here. And all those videos that I had on my Patreon will be a part of my membership here on YouTube. So I'm just kind of making a switch. But again, I'm, I'm giving myself a month here because I don't know what's going on with uh, Jeff and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I just want to let you guys know that as well. All right, so here's my mom. Hello, everybody. She's joining me this or today. <laughs> 
But uh, she already has been going through all my tumblers and stuff and is stealing my stuff. So she has. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you show them the ones that you're stealing from me? This one is just gorgeous, beautiful. <laughs> Look at it. It's just gorgeous, beautiful. <laughs> And She's then this one, one look at this, look at this. <laughs> well, I, well, both of these I did a tutorial on and I just had them sitting on my shelf and she was like, I want to take one. And she was holding onto both of them and I'm like, just. Well, I was only going to take one and then she said, well, you can have both. She would have took and both. And I just said, okay. Yeah, <laughs> she would have took both. <laughs> I got these. But we actually have a little project we're going to do together. She brought up some light switches that she wants me to decorate i know you can house, so we'll see how that goes yeah. i don't really know the cabin <laughs> so i have my uh i'm gonna show you guys how i did my plaid how i finished up my plaid tutorial awesome and we're gonna be doing that together with my mom so that's what we'll be doing so we have mom's cup she stole for our coffee this morning <laughs> and we're ready to wake up prep these tumblers and slay all day we got this <laughs> So this first light switch, you wanted it to be like a red, white, and blue thing. Is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to lose these. I don't know where to put these. I'll put them off to the side. Here, let me have them. Okay. I'll put them in there. I'll find some tape. So she pretty much wants it like that tumbler that we were just showing you guys, the red, white, and blue tumbler. So like hydro dipped because she doesn't want it glittered, right? Right. <laughs> but you want me to seal it with epoxy? <sighs> Wouldn't that work better or should I... I mean, what do you think? Oh, I I because probably... it's a light switch. I yeah. Mean... I mean, I can seal it with epoxy so it lasts. And it'll be easy to wipe, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rough it up really good. And then we got to do the red, white uh, hydro dip. And then we'll come through with a blue and add the stars and stuff. Now, I know I'm not going to be able to get this done today. I know. So it's I'll okay. have to finish it up and, and send these out to you, but at least we can get them started. So I'm going to go ahead and get it roughed up. Okay. All right, this is all cleaned up. I wiped it down really good. Now I'm just going to go give it a hydro dip. Okay, so this is all dry and, you know, obviously there's some spots that I think I just want to touch up a little bit because half of it's going to be blue, but I think I'm going to have to coat it with a thin coat of epoxy first because I want it to look, um, the blue to be more of a, like a rustic. Like I want it to kind of, I want to kind of wipe it away. So I know what I have in mind for this. So I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to put a thin coat of epoxy over it. And I'm obviously not going to be able to finish this today. So I'll get this going and I'll kind of show you guys how it looks next week. So for my plaid tumbler, I just wanted like really kind of rustic outlines of trees so I decided to make up this template I just I'm just taking a shape and then I found a tree image that I really liked and I'm just going to take this image I'm going to make it as round as my tumbler as I can't remember what the dimension was just take your measuring tape measure around your tumbler you're going to lay your trees out and then you're going to slice your tree images out and that's all I did to make my template to go around the outside for the kind of gold look that I have going on. Now, after I got that all weeded out, I put it onto my transfer tape and I'm just going to flip it and lay it right back down on my board because it's so much more easier wrapping templates and vinyls onto your tumbler like this. I, I don't think I'll ever do it a different way. And because I'm using a skinny straight sided, so it's completely straight it, it's just so much more simpler this way there we go see done that's all I got to do all I got to do is peel back uh, my transfer tape and then we'll be ready to move on to that next step push down all my little edges just to make sure that everything is nice and smooth and I'm just going to take my tacket because again I'm going to be using a foil so I'm just taking my tacket over and over again you want the over and over again stuff because when it dries it's going to stay tacky so that way you know, your glitters can stick to it or your foils, however you want to do it. But I'm just going to take my brush and I'm 
I'm actually, I didn't put as much glue on there as I should have. I should have really got in there around the trees and then just kind of faded it out because I wanted it to look like they were kind of floating in the middle. So that's kind of the look that I was going for. It's very simple. You just kind of tap that glue in there and just kind of give it some brush stroke looks at the bottom. Very simple. And then I'm just going to let that dry and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my foil. Now my foil I bought right off Amazon. It's the same exact foil that I used for, I think it was a wine tumbler that I did. I used foil on it. Same exact thing. This it lasts quite a while. <laughs> it's a big, huge roll of it. So all I'm going to do is take a chunk of that, roll it up right inside of it, just like this, smooth it down really good and pull back my foil to show off my little design that I have there. Now I know you guys are noticing, why didn't I peel back the vinyl? I don't know. You can go ahead and peel back the vinyl. I, I don't know. Maybe I did it reverse, but <laughs> so <clears throat> then I realized that I'm going to go ahead and, and peel back after I peel back everything. I'm going to come back through with my my foil one more time just to make sure that it gets all up inside those crevices because like I said, I just wanted it kind of like just a really light of the trees around it. So, and I, I thought this did a pretty good job. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this back. I'm gonna apply a little bit more foil around the edges after I peel this back, cause there was still some, uh, right around the edges that didn't really get stuck down to. And then I'm gonna add my decal. Now, yeah, I know my background looks weird. I, I was taking photos, okay? And I was like, this is fine. <laughs> I was in the middle of taking photos, and but I wanted to get this done, so here we are. But I just did Merry Christmas. I got my decal right off my Cricut Design Space. I used, what did I use there? A uh, textured uh, gold, or no, it wasn't gold, that's bronze. I used a textured bronze for the, the bottom because I did an offset, and then I used kind of the same kind of green that's on the plaid for the top of it. So after I actually put on the top vinyl, I took my blow dryer and heated up my decal right on my tumbler just to make sure that it went down into all those crevices of the textured vinyl underneath. And I just made sure that I warmed it up and then I held it down really good with my hands so that way it didn't accidentally peel up when I apply my epoxy. Now into the epoxy, I just wanted to add just a little bit more of a glimmer. So I actually added some, what did I add? Suncatcher Silver added a little bit of that and just some other like real random glitters just a touch just to kind of make it maybe look like snow falling around the trees and all that just to give it a little bit more of a glisten but that's all I did for my plaid tumbler. Okay. <laughs> All right, so again, congratulations to Barbara Ludds for winning this. Congratulations. So again, email me, sandysorganizedchaos at gmail.com, and I'll be able to get that out to you. I just need your address, okay? That's a beautiful cup. Yes. Now this one, we discussed earlier, maybe this is a giveaway. What do you think? Should I do this as a giveaway too? Yeah, or I'm going to sneak it in my bag. <laughs> I mean, either way it goes. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure somebody would appreciate that that is okay. a gorgeous cup too all right so we're gonna do this as a giveaway as well so comment below if you'd like to win this and i'll pick a winner next sunday for this cup all right what do you think oh. charlotte <laughs> i think we're gonna go ahead and let you guys go we're gonna go hang out everybody's out front running around screaming and stuff so we're gonna go do that as well right riding the bicycles without the training wheels yeah. on yes. it that is spot on yes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your night, an amazing rest of your week, and I we will see you next time. We, I, I don't know. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye. Can I say bye? Bye. Bye. Aww. See you later. <laughs>